Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday to all of you. So, are you going to receive a monthly benefit increase? The Social Security Administration has been discussing several changes that may financially impact millions of seniors. Top economists are now concerned about the future of Social Security benefits. Many insist that if inflation levels do not cool down, that boost may not do much for Social Security recipients. This has led to new proposals for seniors. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. To hear about the complete details of these proposals, also know that I'll be giving away four seventy-five-dollar Walmart gift cards every week. Please make sure, friends, that you click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Also, during the months of November and December. I will surprise several of you with two hundred dollar gift cards to say thank you so much, friends, for being part of this community. Secretary Walsh uh, has been in touch with uh, with the uh, with the respective parties in, in this, uh, and he has continued to stay in touch uh, with uh, with. Uh, with uh, again uh, the parties that are involved uh, in in this uh, in in this agreement, uh, but again I'm not gonna not gonna get too far ahead of that. Uh, look, he's encouraging Secretary Walsh specifically. He's encouraging sides to reach a resolution that prevents a threat to a shutdown, and that's been our focus. Uh, clearly, there's other folks in the administration, but Secretary Walsh played such a, a pivotal uh, a role uh, in the tentative agreement, uh, and so he's he's easy to point to because he's a Secretary of Labor and has been certainly direct. Understand that there will be a disruption. We have been very clear about that. Again, the President has been directly involved. I will, you know, don't don't want don't have any details to provide at this time. Uh, Secretary Walsh has been uh, involved as well, as you know, as the Secretary of Labor and uh, the administration more broadly as well has been in touch uh, with the parties involved in, in this, uh, this really critical, important issue. I think just to drill down on this part of it, not to belabor the point, but there was almost a celebration in the Rose Garden two months ago with the president, with these labor leaders, with management. Is the president surprised to see that these, so many of these, obviously not all of them, but four out of the 12 of these unions have actually rejected a deal which he tried to sell as a strong a deal for, uh, for labor for these workers? So I, I want to be very clear here. Um, the tentative agreement. Uh, that we saw in September actually helped to prevent an immediate disruption to the economy. So that was important, that it, it was we were able to prevent that. Uh, this administration it worked uh, to bring unions and rail companies together to reach that agreement, and it kept our rail system working and prevented a disruption, again, to our economy. So that was an important moment uh, as well. Look, we're going to be very, we're going to be... In October, seniors on Social Security received some pretty good news that benefits will be increasing by 8.7% in 2023. The cost of living adjustment is actually the largest one to come down the pike in decades. And it may be enough to help some seniors recover from the financial hit that they may have taken in 2022. This year, many consumers have been battered by inflation and seniors whose primary income source is Social Security have no doubt seen their buying power shrink as living costs have soared. An 8.7% boost might help seniors get to a better place financially next year. But many economists are wondering whether that COLA increase is really something to be happy about. There is a good chance that seniors on Social Security will in fact gain buying power next year. But that's only going to happen if inflation levels taper off. The whole reason Social Security recipients are getting such a large raise next year is that inflation warranted it. And if inflation levels shrink in the new year, which could happen in the wake of the Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hikes, seniors might gain some buying power based on their COLA for the first time in several years. But if inflation ticks back upward, seniors will be no better off. They may even land in a worse position come 2023. At the start of this year, Social Security recipients 
received a 5.9% COLA. At the time, the raise was hailed as record-breaking, even though it's by far not the largest COLA that seniors have ever received. Some economists insist that we look at how COLA has held up in the course of 2022. The consumer price index has risen at a much higher rate on an annual basis than 5.9%, leaving millions of Social Security beneficiaries in the lurch. Now, friends, here's one bit of good news. In October, the CPI rose 7.7% on an annual basis. A 7.7% uptick is high by historical standards, but that percentage is already a notch below the 8.7% COLA. If the CPI continues to register inflation readings below 8.7%, it means that seniors could end up in a very good place next year. Do you think that the COLA increase will help Social Security beneficiaries? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Friends, the key word for this video is Eagle, Idaho. If you would like to enter the next $75 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Eagle, Idaho and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you are subscribed to my channel. Remember, dear friends, that the more videos that you leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Drivers are likely to receive a gift heading into the holidays, which is quickly falling gasoline prices. The latest stats released on Wednesday by the Energy Information Administration shows that gasoline is building up in storage tanks and overall demand remains weak. Patrick DeHaan, head of petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy, predicts that some parts of the country could see prices fall by 50 cents per gallon or more over the next month. In Michigan, the drop could be as deep as 70 cents per gallon. A unique phenomenon has been playing out in the oil market. Oil stocks have risen 5% in the past month, even as the price of oil has fallen 9%. The divide could mean that oil stocks are set for a downward reversion because they've outpaced the price of commodity by too much. But some analysis see more upside ahead for many of the stocks. Still, prices at the gas pump are roughly 19 cents higher than one year ago. The cost of diesel also remains very high at $5.25 per gallon driven up this year by a reduction in supply. About 55 million Americans in total are traveling for this Thanksgiving weekend, the vast majority of whom will drive. Hawaii has the nation's priciest fuel at $5.19 per gallon, while Texas has the cheapest at $2.93 a gallon. So dear friends, please let me know how much one gallon of unleaded gasoline is in your city and please leave those comments below. Well, my amazing and awesome dear friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Thank you so much, dear friends, for joining me here every day when I post a new video. I want you all to know that I sincerely appreciate every single one of you who are watching my videos. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway of $75 is Irma Torres. Congratulations, my dear friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me a message. Or you can message me on my Facebook page. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.